Okay, ladies and gents, I think this is a pretty exciting moment because we are so close to getting ready for showing something on our Django page um, in a programmatic way. Um, so we have our model done. Um, one thing that I obviously forgot and we need to do is do our commit. So let's go here, git add all, git commit. And what did we do? We created the model. Now we can say we uh, made migrations and there was a small fix to my app, my app uh, model. model. Okay, so that's done. We can go back to work. And so I can see here that basically what I did uh, in the meanwhile, I uploaded this screenshot here as something uh, that will be used for um, as, a, as an image for this test app. I just wanted to see where it's saved. And what it does now is it creates this, um, this image here in the main root. And we don't want that to happen. Two things that have to hap <laughs> happen, I can see right now, is one thing is we need to add a setting here that will, so we have to go to our export folio, so the main folder and settings, and at the very bottom, just next to static, uh, static settings, we should add something like media root that will be using base there and a string, I like to use the single quotes, media just like with the um, static files there's, but in here it's it's a list and in here it's just one folder there. Okay, and we also can do something like this, static URL. Uh, so maybe in here, media URL, and that will be media like this. Oops, like this. Just exactly the same like with static. So right uh, with this setting, we will save pictures, images in a separate, so I'm gonna use this screenshot that I also prepared for this tutorial. So I saved my new image. Uh, let's see, a new media folder has been created and our screenshot is there. Um, to make it even more organized, let's do it this way. So I think what I wanna do now is I'm gonna delete this, that entry so we have a clean table, no entries in my apps uh, database. Um, this is done. So I'm gonna just close this here and go to models and do something like this. Upload to, and I'm gonna give it a, a name of a folder, which will be called, let's say, my apps. Okay, I'm gonna save this now. Let's see if we have to make the migration. So Python, uh, I'm not sure if we do manage.py make migrations and I can just tap uh, why not okay make migrations so alter field image uh, on my app so I did need to make this migration and now I'm going to migrate okay so it did find some so that does matter to SQL sometimes there are some switches that matter only for uh, to uh, Django but usually those changes should be migrated. We should make migration and we should ma uh, migrate those changes. Okay, so that's done. So let's go back and try to create a, an app. So I'm gonna create an actual entry that we're gonna use for our first app that we start uh, in the next video. Um, the name of this app will be Excel Analyzer. Uh, we're gonna make some this is a description of our brand new Excel, Excel analyzer app. Isn't it exciting? Analyzer, oh yes, I live in Ireland, so that should be S. Look at the sacrifice I'm making for you guys. I'm not using proper spelling. Anyway, so I'm gonna use this screenshot that I took of a Excel logo and save. So let's see what did it go. Um, I can see now that media has its has this my apps folder 
and inside of it I can find my screenshot, my uh, my logo. I'm going to delete those because I don't need them anymore in my folders and I definitely don't want those in my root. So they are gone, I just delete them. They're not used anywhere in the project anyway. So now we have this entry, okay? How do we use that now on our web page? We want to somehow be able to show every app that we put in here on our web page. So that can be done, first of all, in views. So we need to go to views. So let's close all of those guys. Go to website and views. So in views, we can tap into this my app model. So let's go and import from website import models or we can do something like this from website dot models import my app maybe this way is better okay and in here in our index we're going to try to get all of the entries for this model so all of those for now we just have one and to do it we do something like this all apps is my app dot objects dot all. This is it. Um, to be able to access it on in HTML using Django tags, we do it like this. Context, and you can call it whatever you want, but that's just a convention. Context, and it's a dictionary. So dictionary uh, with key values like this. Uh, let's call it my apps, and they will hold this all apps data. So this is holding all the apps that we can find. And that, by the way, is a query. And we can actually use debugging to see what happens in here. But for now, I'm going to just put that in here as context. So as I mentioned before, we left it blank. So there was no context sent from us. And we are now adding some context to the to this website, to this template that we can use this way. Let's go to our um, templates, website, index. So now we have something called my apps that we can tap into here. And as I mentioned before, I want to tap into them for portfolio section because the way I wanted to show our apps, each app, is by at creating a, a, a tile like this for this section. So I'm gonna get rid of all of it because it's hard coded for now. It's just something that is built by Bootstrap guys, uh, does not much. And I want to be able to populate it using Django. So let's go down. As, as you can see, uh, these headers tell you a lot. So we can see here that we have our portfolio header. We don't wanna change that. We have the star and the line, so we don't want to change that. This is where the grid starts. So this is where we want to start changing stuff. And that's our portfolio item one, two, three, and so on. So I'm going to just leave portfolio num item number one and get rid of the rest of them because we will generate them programmatically now. So we get rid of it up until this line. Okay, so somehow this will be generated using this context that we have now. And to do it, I'm gonna use a for loop inside of HTML. This is the, the, the power of Django that we start to tap it into. Uh, we can do something like for each app in my apps. And for some reason it didn't show, it didn't help me with the autocomplete. So I'm a little bit worried, but maybe it's uh, it just didn't catch up with my setting. Up until now there was no context. So I didn't know that there is something like my apps. And ov obviously you have to end for like this. Okay, so for now, each time it finds a an app, an entry in our database. So for now, we just have one. For now, it's going to generate this hard-coded uh, piece that is tile number one. Okay, I'm not going to touch these models yet because they need to be changed as well. But I just want to see if what I built here it works. And it did. It seems like it found one entry and it and it just 
render this for now. And it's a hard coded, there's nothing uh, flexible here, and we're about to change it. So that's cool, we have something here. So let's start changing stuff. I know we're gonna change the, the picture, and I also know that we're gonna change the models. So maybe let's actually start with the models because they need to get changed. So portfolio model, I'm just gonna call it like this and I'm gonna delete the rest. So we only want the first one and the rest is going away because it will be generated programmatically using the for loop. Delete that one. So we just stick with this and I'm gonna do the for loop here as well. So for each app in my apps, and I'm gonna end N4 in here. And what I wanna do is I wanna change the name. So instead of hello, for now, if I click on this, I get hello and I get a smiley face and bye. What I wanna get in here is the name of our app. So as, as you can see here, we are inside of a for loop and we have an app as a variable that we can tap into. And now we're not gonna use the curly brace and the percent sign. If we're just using a field from, uh, from our app, like name or description, we use double curly braces. So app.name goes in here. And then I'm gonna leave the image for now because it's a little bit more complex. But I'm gonna start with the text. And now here we go with app.description. And I'm surprised that it doesn't help me with the autocomplete. And this we can just change back to close window. Okay, save, refresh. And as I'm clicking here, I can see my Excel analyzer name and the description is not there. For some reason, uh, description, and that's why I like when Django helps me with the autocomplete. There you go. So here is our description. Here is the name. And in a second, we're going to change this uh, this picture as well. But, but I we think can it's continue enough for this the next video. One. Thank you for watching and see you later.